Nowadays, we farm cows for their milk. They are born into captivity and they never see the light of day. They never see the outside of a factory barnyard. Sorry, not a barnyard, a barn. They are born into captivity, live in darkness, and they know nothing except to give birth, to produce milk that is forcibly, forcibly removed from them, and then die, I guess. <clears throat> but cows have wild instincts. If you were to put them outside into the natural world, they would suddenly feel that this is how it should be. Meanwhile, they are in captivity, and if they are never shown the outside natural world, they'll just continue living in that life of slavery without knowing exactly what's wrong, but just having this uneasy feeling that something isn't right. They might be living a tortured life, but they would not have the vocabulary to describe what was wrong with this tortured life that they live. Poor cows, right? So as people, we are born into a certain world. The Bible writers used the Greek word cosmos, which means a system, a universe, a network of being. We might call it the matrix. We might be plugged into a computer network, but we might be not. We might just be living natural biological lives in an unnatural created system. Every day going about our day, feeling kind of okay, producing stuff that is taken from us, not knowing exactly what's wrong but having a sense of unease that something is wrong but we lack the vocabulary to really put our finger on it. So for millennia, philosophers have asked what's the meaning of life, what's the purpose of life and we have yet to come to a definitive answer. Although it is possible to find meaning in this life that we live, my point is not to say that we are in an actual physical matrix, although if we were, philosophically speaking, how could you, how could you disprove it? My point is to say that we are born into a system, whatever that system is, and we accept this system as the norm, as the universe, as all there is. But yet we have this sense of unease, and we do not fully know what's the problem, but we feel there is some kind of problem. Was it Socrates who said the, uh, the unexamined life is not worth living? Well, we do need to examine this life that we're living. However, I would say that if all you ever do is examine this life without actually living it, that's not really worth living it either. So, we come to paradox again. You've got to live this life, you've got to examine it, but you've got to live it, but you've got to examine it, because you need to live a life that's examined. So what's really going on here? What's my point? I'm not sure I have one. If I had a point, maybe my point would be to say to you that you need to ask questions. Ask questions. All the time. And I'm not saying that the answers are sinister, but... You do need to ask those questions. And some of the questions will produce happy answers. Answers that bring joy and love and fulfillment. Sure, there are troubling answers, but there are good answers too. I'm just saying, you need to ask the questions to arrive at the answers.